and welcome back. We're into the third quarter of the Paddock the Goals. And today we have with us the Mayor, Councillor Alan Getley. Welcome, Alan. Thank you. And all the way down the road from Donald, we have John McConville, who is the president of the Donald 2000. Hello, Joe. Thanks for having me. You're most welcome. Thank you very much for coming in today, guys. Now, Mayor, we had a special meeting last week uh, so that the councillors could give you approval to tick you off so you could fly up to Canberra, um, accompanied also by our CEO, Wayne O'Toole. Um, to attend the National Government Association, Our Future, Our Communities Conference. Um, it was essentially an opportunity to speak to the key ministers and movers and shakers up there behind the scenes on issues that affect Bullock. However, there's something we were keeping a little bit secret at the time, um, keeping under wraps. What was that reason where we went up to, to Canberra? Uh, we were lucky to be one of the 10 winners of a national award for our uh, paddock run and uh, we needed to receive that from the local government minister. So we went up there and uh, collected that award, which is sitting right here in front of us. Hold it up and uh, do like up. you've um, just won the grand final. Right, yeah, there Mr. we are. There, there's the uh, there's the award we received and, uh, yes, I had the privilege of actually Paddock running the minister uh, who acknowledged her in her keynote speech yesterday that she quite enjoyed the cookers cookies, which are obviously made in Donald. Fantastic. Now, um, John, you also were inst- integral in helping to ran up the trips over there at Donald um, in the flood recovery. Um, how did how did we go this time? How did we work together as a community? No, we went really well, Joe. Like, there's a bit of a story to this, as you know. In 2011 floods, they were the biggest that we, we've seen. And uh, post-2011, we were able to get some funding from uh, Peter Walsh, the, the then acting, well, well, he was the, the lead of the National Party. And we built a levy bank to protect Donald um, Township from future floods. And to the credit of everyone, it worked really well in these floods. And so um, I was known to be standing on the top of the levy bank thinking and hoping that it was going to rise more so we could really test it out. But it, it certainly saved the town. You might have been the only one hoping for that, John. <laughs> I, I think the rest of us were, were hoping it stayed down. But, um, but yeah, it a, a really is a testament to the community p- doing their planning, learning from what we had um, experienced last time and really putting that into play. And, and I know that our team at Bull Oak were out there well in advance um, doing their practice and rehearsals. Um, we even went and set up our our mock, our, our municipal operations centre and had a practice run there too. So yeah. when we were ready to roll, um, we flicked the switch and off we went, didn't we? It worked really well with, with the local volunteers and with the Shire and, and everyone had the plan and, and fortunately the plan was put in place and it did work really well. There was a couple of small glitches but nothing to uh, be concerned about. And the positive was we had everyone there, the CFA, we had the police, we had the ambulance, we had the locals, we had the schools. And so everyone became involved. It was great. It was good. Now, Mayor, one of the advantages of winning the award is we kind of got some back doors to take to some key politicians, didn't we, up there? We certainly did. Um, that, and often you have to sort of book in a long way in advance to have those opportunities. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you spoke to them about and and um, what you can tell us as when you come back, what were you able to um, learn and um, – and some and opportunities for us. Yes, look, it was a fantastic opportunity uh, to have all those ministers around the conference centre, the National Conference Centre in one spot. Uh, look, I got to speak with the, obviously, the local government minister. I spoke with uh, aides from the uh, Chris Bowens about the uh, VNI West yesterday, uh, good conversations there, spoke with infrastructure ministers, road ministers and all their aides. And, of course, we uh, were a bit privileged to be sitting sitting right beside the Prime Minister at a gala dinner on Thursday night and actually got to introduce to the Prime Minister in that event. So just to talk to them and to talk to them, like flood mitigation, roads, uh, sustainability, Shire sustainability and money that we need to sustain the Shire was just absolutely brilliant and you just don't get that opportunity without uh, having to go to Canberra to sit with them one-on-one. You got you did get up the top table. You were rubbing shoulders with all the top brass, and that was a great opportunity. We were watching from the back stalls, but just to recap, sort of what happened in Bull Oak, um, we ended up with 149 closed roads, 50 pothole repairs covering an area of about 3,800 square meters. 
1,420 grading activities and that's 174 kilometres of that was an average of 120 metres of um, reconstruction. We showed them some pictures and um, of what betterment looks like and um, what was the reaction to that, Mayor? That, look, we, that was well received, to be honest, because that message was not only coming from Bull Oak, that was coming from just about every single council that was impacted in that flood. And the, uh, the Minister for Roads, he actually said to me, he said, we need to do something. And they have now uh, agreed that they will do something. And when we were a little bit lucky of getting just on a million dollars out of them for betterment. Uh, so we need to keep pushing it. But that message was pushed to him loud and clear. And he said that, that Queensland, New South Wales have got that system in place and it's high time Victoria got it as well. So if nothing else, if it comes out of it, that is a really good outcome for, uh, and will be a good outcome for Bull Oak. Fantastic. Now, John, what's going on over in Donald? You have lots of activities. You have a fantastic festival that's moved into Donald that brings thousands and thousands of people. Mm. Tell us about some of the activities that have been happening in Donald, um, which has helped to improve livability and people wanting to come back to Donald um, and what you've got coming up. Well, you're right there, Joe. We have the Esoteric Festival and that's uh, annually and run by Sam Goldsmith and his crew and they've got got it just right. It's perfect. And they've thrown in a B&S ball as well. And that, that was on April the 1st. And um, that was one of the best we heard from the crowd. They, they loved it so much. So that's another annual event that's happening. Um, there's a lots of things going on. At the moment, we're trying to raise a few dollars locally for the big kookaburra. And that's going to be situated out the front of Cooker's uh, factory, and, and appropriately so. And uh, locals have put in a lot for that and to make that happen. And we hope that's a tourist attraction. And then we've got some murals coming on, we hope, in the town as well. We're getting a bit of funding together for that. So that'll make our town a bit more um, attractive for, for tourists to come along. They can link it with the silo art and hopefully stay and spend a few dollars with us. Sounds terrific. Well, actually, the Cookers Country Cookies took a fair um, centre stage with regards to the paddock run, didn't it, Mayor? They and certainly you, did. And, and we were very pleased to hear the Minister report to the entire congregation at the heat that she had been paddock run, and I, I understand that they ate all three kilos of Cookers Country Cookies that we delivered up there on the day. And uh, during uh, during the uh, parliamentary sitting, yes, they and she actually acknowledged yesterday at the uh, – uh, the conference yesterday that she thoroughly enjoyed the Cookers Country Cookies. So uh, well done to the, the Donald community. Mm. Well, it is well done and it's just one jewel in the crown. You know, we've got to eat well there as well and they employ probably 70 or 80 people with different shifts and things. We've got cookers, we've got 50-odd businesses on the industrial estate. So that's a real jewel in the crown for Donald and District. Um, employment is great within the township because of all those businesses and it's something that we're proud of. The schools are good, the doctors are good, the sporting facilities are great. Um, we've got a great place and that's just one of several within the Bull Oaks Shire. You're absolutely right. And one thing that we were scratching our heads up in Canberra, weren't we, um, Mayor, about when the discussion come about the cities and having to redevelop the cities to cope with um, population growth. Mm. They're all all going up. They're not going outwards. They're going way up, up. Um, but they hadn't quite thought about well, there are other options there were, but there's plenty of options out in rural and regional Victoria to develop businesses too, isn't there? Yeah, that's correct. I think we spent a fair bit of time this week trying to educate them that uh, – the world doesn't end at the city borders, that there's a whole leap of country Victoria, country Australia, a rural Australia that is a really good place to have a look and to come and have Bull Oak and have a bit of a squeeze. Absolutely. All right, fellas, and go and enjoy the footy. It's a little bit chilly out there. You are, I can see you're well and truly rugged up. Um, we have our two teams, Charlton and Donald, facing off today, um, all in good spirits, of course. Um, thank you for, for being here and um, selling the spirit of Bull Oak. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thanks for having us.